Hi everyone. I'm going to keep my sunglasses on today because it's bright and sunny. So, how is everyone doing? It's uh, been an incredible few days, I can say. Hand on heart, yes. Things are happening, things are changing, things are occurring in our lives dynamically. And perhaps some are now beginning to see the bigger picture. The little snippets of what's in store, the little snippets of really our true purpose. And it's great to connect with like-minded individuals and to step into that unknown territory of the unknown. Going where no man has gone before, if that makes sense. I think that came from Star Trek. So we are going boldly where no man has gone before because we are stepping into our true power and our true capabilities. And what it feels like is the ancient energies, the old energies are coming back and they're driving us forward. It's almost as though we've gone through this, uh, we've purged everything back to a certain point. So effectively we've dealt with our 3D selves, we've dealt with our uh, issues within our mind and within our body and within our soul and we're now going back to where we came from. Does that make sense? I'm just speaking out lib now because I'm still flying. You know this weekend I was with uh, my shaman and uh, I was only supposed to be away for, I was supposed to be home on Saturday but something happened and I came home last night and it was a, three days of pure me time. Not worried about my daughter, not worried about anything, but focused on my mission, my personal mission on this planet. And when I was with my shaman, um, he basically said that I went to places that he couldn't just re he couldn't reach, and that over the next couple of weeks things will be become more concrete and things will become more real. And I'll begin to remember what I don't remember today. But I woke up this morning with this words in my mind. And it was all about humanity. We're here as a species that is totally focused right now on instant messaging, instant gratification, instant answers, instant, instant, instant. Which basically goes against all of the characteristics that we came to this planet with. We're here to communicate with each other on a one-on-one -on -one basis, on a face-to-face -face basis, so that we can express ourselves freely from this heart. And we can't do that when we're surrounded or allow ourselves to be immersed in this fog of instant messaging and instant gratification. So, the underlying message to this was all about connecting on a one-on-one -on -one basis with others. Whether that means in a physical conversation, whether it be electronic conversation, not, not an electronic conversation if that makes sense. Without writing, but physically taking the time and effort to calling somebody, to going to meet someone, to share your energy. Because energy is far better shared in space with, your, with each other. So. I know that this story is going to continue to evolve. I know that whatever is coming, is coming. And I do believe very soon that twin souls, twin flames, the ascended, the, the awakened ones are soon going to realize who they've been. They're soon, if they don't already realize what their mission is. And thirdly, they will know the end result of their previous lifetime or their previous incarnation and what they're here to do this time is to correct or to live in a way that that previous life didn't. It may sound a little bit complex but I think this is an evolving story but just reflect on those words because I have this feeling within me that spirit is protecting me and protecting so many others 
that spirit doesn't want to reveal who we have been truly. Because I believe amongst us there are some great leaders, there are some great characters, there are some great lovers, there are some great philosophers, there are great uh, people that have stood the test of time and they're walking this planet today in a human vessel. When I look at this healing process, we really have to clear the 3D body and vessel. We really have to wipe clean the psyche. And I know that Freud, Maslow, Jung, have all had this philosophy and practicality about the psyche and how to empower us to do this. We empower ourselves to change. And we empower ourselves to look at things from a different perspective outside of the box. And it is this, when we, you know, I spoke with somebody this morning, I feel selfish. Are you selfish in spite? Are you selfish in love? Are you protecting yourself because of the love that you are? Or are you protecting yourself because of the love that you are not? And it's a very fine line between the two. So I believe that spirit is protecting us so that we actually get to the point where we finally realize after we've gone through all of these purgings and releasings and healings and stepping into our missions irrespective of who is supposed to be in our lives who is not supposed to be in our life we let go of all those expectations and we begin to live in our mission and we dedicate our life to that mission and I remember a video that I wrote made, I think it was a year ago, no, maybe not a year ago, in Moscow, when I was in Moscow. And it was talking about, are you in love with your mission, or your twin flame? Are you, are you living your mission, or are you focused on the union? I said back then, union is part of the mission. How can you possibly move forward in your own mission, if you're fretting and struggling and still not accepting that this is a bigger picture and you're still hung up on this reunion with your beloved or your re whatever whatever i'm not getting angry i'm just you know these are words that i've said a long time ago to be at one with your divine counterpart you need to be at one with yourself and you need to be doing the work that you came here to do because Let's face it, chasing or being around or surrounded by this love energy, this bubble of love that happens with twin flames, your focus is shifted. So what I sense, well particularly in my case anyway, is that we are pushed into mission. We are being shown things that have happened before in our lives and they're coming back. They're coming back in our lives for a reason. And we let go of this we let go of this known and we step into the unknown. So it's all about self-belief, isn't it? It's believing in yourself and believing everything that you know to be true. And if that means that you believe you're a twin flame and you're supposed to be in union, believe it and carry that within you and get on with doing what you're here to do. Because part of your mission is the reunion. Your twin has other things that they need to be doing to ensure that they're also in the same place as you, that energy vibration. And I do believe it's very close. And they were on these final steps of fully trusting in who we are, not really worried about what's going on outside and really immersing ourselves in love. And in the love, not only for ourselves, but for all of mankind. We're going to begin to communicate in a new way or in an old way, in a way that makes sense I mean, in a way that means has purpose and does away with this instant satisfaction or misinterpretation of messages lost in space. So continue to believe in who you are. Continue to be that divine being that you are and be love and just enjoy life. That's it from today. I'm sure there'll be more videos this week. So stay, take care. Until the next time, lots of love. Bye-bye.